In this episode, we'll learn how to create this crazy post-apocalyptic effect in Photoshop. Welcome to Take Action, the show where we take your favorite Photoshop effects and show you how to do them in just a few seconds using the Actions panel. If you'd like to follow along, I've left the download link in the video description. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do for this specific action is to make sure our workspace is set up correctly. This action works best when the image resolution size is at least 1200 pixels in either width or height. Go to Image, Image Size, and change the parameters here if necessary, making sure the resolution is set to at least 72. Next, go to Image, Mode, and check that your workspace is set to RGB color and 8 bits. Another thing we need to do is select the icon with the three lines located to the right of the layers panel. Make sure to select panel options in the drop down menu. And then inside this window, make sure add copy to copied layers and groups is selected. Select OK. And finally, find your brush tool. And at the top, make sure both the opacity and flow are set to 100%. With all of that out of the way, we can begin the installation of the action. You will need to extract it with a program like WinRAR, and you should see files for brushes, patterns, and an action file. In Photoshop, go to File, Open, and then individually open each of these files. I will start with the brushes. You won't see any changes on the screen, but that's now installed in the background. So I'll just do that for the pattern and action file. Now that our installation is complete, we can go to Window, Actions. In this panel, we can locate the folder labeled After People, open it once, and this is the subfolder that will play shortly. But before that, let's create a new layer, name it Area in lowercase. And now what we need to do is make a selection of everything but the sky. The way we can do that is by selecting our sky with the quick selection tool. Select the background layer and then select areas where the sky is. I'm just going to make a rough selection for this demonstration, but you can be as accurate as you want. Now select the area layer and go to select inverse. Next find the paint bucket tool and fill in the selection with black. Then. Go to select, deselect. If for whatever reason your background layer is not in its original state, for example like this, then go to layer, new, background from layer. Now in your actions panel, select the subfolder and press the play icon. You will see a message pop up stating that you should paint with your brush on areas where there is asphalt or essentially the ground. Press stop. Now use the brush to paint on this area. Don't change the hardness of the brush as it's intended this way. And once you're happy, press the play button again. A pop-up message will appear again. This time you want to paint on metal objects such as street signs, poles, etc. Press stop. I will once again paint with my brush. And once I'm satisfied, Press the play button. The action panel will now perform all of the effects in order. If you see some messages pop up along the way, just select continue until the effect is complete. That's all done now and isn't this incredible? Just by taking a few steps, this action will enable you to convert your city landscapes into post-apocalyptic masterpieces. And this was Design Dummy. 